next speaker is Matthew Fox. He is hilariously bad at organization, which means he and I have something in common. Jin, I was raised to believe that I'm a messy person. So here's hoping that I unlearn that at some point in time. And same thing goes for Matt. Uh, he uh, is very snobby about word choice and grammar. He said to tell you everything is not awesome. <laughs> You don't have to use that many exclamation points. And quit apologizing so much. So, <laughs> big round of applause for Matthew. Thank you, Pat. So I have an invitation for you all. If you're willing to play, my invitation is to go ahead and put your left pinky up against your mouth and go ahead and stand up for those of you who can stand up. Uh, those of you who can't, don't worry, you can play as well. This is the standing up part. So fear. One of my challenges with fear, you can go ahead and, and drop your hands. Uh, one of my challenges with fear is around not being enough. And this fear story follows me around. And it prevents me from truly connecting with those that I care about in life. It may be connecting with a partner. It may be connecting with someone at work. Or it may be connecting in a way that helps me feel more like human, which it seems like the past couple of years, this is how I've felt. A lot of energy trapped in my body in the form of fear. Was I going to die from COVID? Was I ever going to see my friends again? Was I going to be able to buy toilet paper? <laughs> and these fears often prevented me from having the relationship that I wanted. Now, who here would want a secure, loving relationship? All right, we have a few relationship fans in the house. Me too. And the interesting part about relationships to me is that fear gets in the way. And a lot of the time when I'm sitting down to connect with someone, I have all sorts of questions in my head. It's at the end of the day, I'm tired, my proverbial fear cup is full. And so with all that energy trapped, I've been searching for a way to move that fear. Here we have fear melters. Dr. Katie Hendricks has uh, four different ways to move fear depending on what we're feeling. And for those of you who are still open to play, we're going to go through two of them. So the first one that's going to come up is to get us into fear. My invitation is to close your eyes and imagine you get a text message from someone that you care about with three words. We need to talk. Now go ahead and open your eyes. Like me, you may be experiencing what this person is behind me. Like, we are going to talk. What are we going to talk about? And my initial thing is I tend to go into a freeze response, which is one of the four. So I invite you to get into your best freeze response right now. You're frozen. Someone's going to talk to you. What's going to happen? And as you're feeling into this, we're going to wait for Wiggle to come up. I want you to go ahead and start wiggling your toes. And then see if you can start wiggling your legs a bit. Maybe your hips. And just see if that freeze feeling is still there. As we continue to wiggle and we let some of this fear move. I see some really good wigglers in the crowd. I like it. And the interesting part is fear doesn't move easily. So this. Who here has gotten into a fight around the dishes? You didn't do the dishes. <laughs> well, I want you to, to feel into the energy. It's like, oh yeah, I'm going to fight you. Like, I did the dishes. Like, there was no dirty dishes. Those are your dishes. Like, what is going on? So now I want you to imagine your honey and you're oozing. And you just feel yourself oozing into a space of, I don't really care about the dishes. I'm not going to fight because my arms are oozing, and I can't fight when my arms are oozing. And just notice how your body is moving in space. I see some good oozers out there. I'm going to talk to you about getting notes later on. So that was a, a quick experience of fear melters. But wait, there are two that we didn't get to cover. So I'm, on the next two slides, I'm actually going to walk you through what those two are. And then if you want to come practice with me later, I'll be up at the bar. So the first one is you have that flee response. So that's where someone tells you something and you want to run out of the room, kind of like most of us want to run off stage. I'm rooting down, and I'm feeling myself rooting into the earth. 
The next one, this ties into the shirt that I'm wearing, so it's very timely, in the sense of love scoops. So in that moment that you're spacey or you're not quite aware of what's going on, I think of bringing in some of that Rocky Mountain energy or imagining that I'm in a purple pool of love. From here, try to spend up to five minutes a day doing the fear melters. Before you're gonna be in that intense encounter or that challenging situation, introduce some fear melters. See if the person you care about would be willing to do them with you. Again, these have been around for a while. Dr. Katie Hendricks developed them about 20 years ago, and I think this is the time to bring them back with so much fear going on in the world. My name is Matthew, and I'll be in the back if you want to wiggle. Way to go. That was awesome. He had written down on his questionnaire that his special skill was wiggling, but I figured I would rather show you than tell you the man is a vibrator on legs. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to set that aside now. I just... <laughs>